Here's Chief Meteorologist Gannon Medwick with your first alert forecast. Getting you outside with your West Shore home. First alert Skycam Network take you to Ocean Isle Beach under the partly sunny skies. Wind coming right into the camera feed, right off the water. Harbors a little bit of a chill because the surf is in the mid 50s. Overall, it is a balmy condition as we take the view to downtown from the Murkison building. Clouds and a little bit of sun and a whole lot of degrees, 78 of them at ILM Airport and that south southwest breeze no slouch all over the map winds flowing at 10 to 20 miles an hour some gusts 30 plus miles an hour in isolated cases it's a breezy one and a warm one with these near and north of 70 temperatures uh, dew points are up so it's a little sticky and even relative to yesterday temperatures at or above by one or two or three notches where they were yesterday making a run toward records the record at Wilmington is 80. We'll see if we get it. If not, we'll get close. We already are close. And if you get out your magnifying glass, you can see one or two stray sprinkles and showers. Not expecting rain today, like not tracking rain or anything like that, but just like a splash of a raindrop could drop on your windshield and then poof, it's gone. Of course, we had a big rain system last weekend, and so the U.S. Drought Monitor Division of NOAA took notice and removed the D1 or moderate drought designation for the lower Cape Fear region. We're still having a D0 or abnormally dry condition, and that's a tip of the cap to the big rain deficits from last year. But fair to say, at least for now, the drought has been squashed owing to that rain system a few days ago. And that's a nice thing to be able to say as we head toward the growing season. Let's take it from 3 o'clock this afternoon forward hour by hour with your Cape Fear and Carolina cloud and future radar model. You notice a stray shower situation turns into a broken line of showers along a cold front. Emphasis on broken. So if you look at Friday and say, oh, it's going to rain Friday, not really the way to look at it. It's not a categorical rain chance, not 100%. There will be some spacing in between the showers. Still, this transient front offers the best chance of rain of this work week. Just kind of put a period on the work week. And notice we're back into sun and completely dry conditions for Saturday. So applying some percentages to that low today, medium tomorrow and zero, nothing for Saturday. Temperatures, Kim, doing a whole lot of changing, flying high today through tomorrow. A one day of chill is behind this front for Saturday. Notice as we head into next week, President's Day, Fat Tuesday, Ash Wednesday. Temperatures right back on top, reminding us of spring more than winter, I think. <laughs> Yeah, winter holding on that one last day, it looks like, but <laughs> definitely you can see spring in our future there, and, Gannon. And I'll throw some caution flags because we know sometimes March and even April yeah. can pack a cold sting. Okay. So, you know, we got to watch for that. But here in February, I mean, you're right, more than not, we're flying high. <laughs> There's been plenty to enjoy, that's for yeah. sure. Thanks, Gannon.